Hello, everybody, and once again, welcome to Oak Lawn Today. Track announcer Pete Aiello joined by Nancy Holthus, getting ready to take you through the Friday card of racing from Hot Springs. Nine races on the program, two solid allowance features, including the eighth race for three-year-old sprinting. That's right, and ironically, the feature tomorrow, the gazebo, also three-year-old sprinting, six furlongs. Nine races on the card today, so without any further ado, let's get you caught up on the track and weather conditions. We start the Friday program with temperatures in the low 40s here this afternoon. The sun is shining and the track is fast. The first race of the afternoon at five and one half furlongs, Arkansas Breds take center stage and they're in for a claiming price of $15,000. Scratch the nine, maybe Jones, the race time favorite, number six, Jeans Beauty. R Racing at Oakland. From the center, Patch of Bad Weather gets the first call, moving up on her outside, both Dixie Lover and Aunt Chris's Shoes to join the party. Down toward the inside, that's the second choice, Pretty Suspect, and now racing in fourth. To her inside goes Impetuous Bay from fifth, followed by Jean's Beauty. Hot Shoes is next. It's a length and a half to the team of Chilean Queen and Future Prize. They've opened five on the two at the back. They're C District in Serendipity C. They swing around the far turn. They went 22 and three for the opening quarter speed. On top, Patch of Bad Weather by ahead. Dixie Lover is three wide from between horses. It's Aunt Chris's shoes. Conchari getting in the favorite Jean's Beauty into the race. She's fourth and tacking on. That's all for the second choice. Pretty suspect and Hot Shoes runs on and they turn for the money. Patch of bad weather cuts the corner and has a two and a half length lead. Jean's Beauty tries to get after her in the concluding stages. Back third is Aunt Chris's shoes with Dixie Lover through the final furlong. Patch of bad weather is holding firm. It's Patch of bad weather by two. Jean's Beauty gaining ground late but running out of time. Patch of bad weather by two. Jean's Jeans Beauty is clearly second, then Hot Shoes and Chilean Queen, patch of bad weather to get it done. Jeans Beauty second, third, Chilean Queen, Hot Shoes fourth in 106 flat. Number eight, patch of bad weather, bet down from her 12 to one morning line and sent off at nine to two. She delivers the money in gate to wire fashion. Owned by Fleury Racing Stable and trained by Carl Broberg, Ramon Vasquez on board for the winning ride. Number six, Jeans Beauty was second in front of seven, Chilean Queen third. Hot Shoes completes the Super. Second race to start the early pick four to mile and a 16th. In the second race, we have a field of seven. Race time favorites included four, California Coast, and seven, McMullen County. And they're off. From the center, Charlie again wins the start with Mr. Ticker Talker moving up on the outside. Papa Soul is actually hustled for speed, and Charming Deputy comes away racing in fourth. From fifth is California Coast, four better than turn to include, and the stretch runner McMullen County sets up shop at the back of the pack. They move into the first turn and down toward the inside. Papa Soul wanted the lead, and he has it now. Leads it a half a length. Charlie again in no particular hurry, racing in second. Mr. Ticker Talker is a three wide third. California Coast is a four wide fourth. Charming Deputy he saves ground two and a half better than turn to include and McMullen County is heads apart with him he's actually much closer than usual only five and a half off the lead after the opening quarter went in 23 and two down the back stretch they go Papa Soul and Walter Dela Cruz a half a length Charlie again is second Mr. Ticker Talker third California Coast is fourth Charming Deputy is now fifth while on hold down to the inside turn to include tries to kickstart a rally for Ocampo and McMullen County is last of all as they went 48 and one for the opening half mile into the far turn they go. Papa Soul leads, but only narrowly. Up on the outside, Charlie again takes it to him. Second, Mr. Ticker Talker, a three-wide third. California Coast has covered an awful lot of ground. He's racing in fourth and starting to lose ground a bit now. Three in front of turn to include. McMullen County begins to warm to the task, and Charming Deputy is last to reach the top of the stretch. Here's Mr. Ticker Talker sweeping up on the outside to take the lead. He's on the board at 21 to 1. Mr. Ticker Talker straightens in on a two-length lead. From the back, McMullen County and California Coast trying to get after him and Papa Soul is still right there. There's an eighth of a mile to go now. Giovanni Franco trying to get one more furlong out of Mr. Ticker Talker and he's responding up top. It will be Mr. Ticker Talker to kick off the early pick four at 21 to one. Papa Soul second, McMullen County ran out of stretch in third in front of Charlie again fourth in 145 and four. Big upset in today's second race. The longest shot in the race, Mr. Ticker Talker, finds more inside the 316th mark to get the victory under Giovanni Franco. Owned by Gene Cox and trained by Gene Jaco, Mr. Ticker Talker sent off at 21 to 1 in the wagering. Second was two, Papa Soul in front of seven, McMullen County, who finished third. Back now for the third race at five and one half furlongs, claimers of the $10,000 variety. Scratch the two, Private Jonesboro. Scratch the seven, Roman Flame. Race time favorite, number 11, Super Stroke. 
and they're up. Last in, first out, Superstroke gets the first call, but Nita Alibi is just as quick, and Buck Magic moves up from down toward the inside. Splitting horses to be fourth is Sanskrit. These top flight horses have opened up three lengths now on Smiling Charlie. Out wide is Judge TM, then any more bling between them. It's a length and a half. The high there, darling, at the two at the back, or I'm a big hitter, and Irish Shinachi. They make their way past the half mile and take it to the far turn. Buck Magic with the head in front. Nita Alibi right with them in second, and three wide is the favorite Superstroke from third, with an length of the lead. Sanscript warming to the task from fourth. Smiling Charlie is underway from fifth in front of High There Darling, then Judge TM, and they run to the top of the stretch. Santana puts Superstroke to pressure, and he's not getting much of a response. Meanwhile, Nita Alibi turns first. Toward the inside, Buck Magic tries to fight back second. Superstroke is still third, and he's still without, not without hope. He's coming on again inside the final furlong. It's Superstroke who hits the front on the far outside. Hi there, Darling. Smiling Charlie is weaving through traffic. In deep stretch, Santana has Super stroke in front. Smiling Charlie and hi there, darling. Take late runs at him. It's a photo finish. A photo finish that goes to Super Stroke over the outside. Hi there, darling, and 105 and 4. Number 11, Super Stroke looked like he was in big trouble turning for home, but found renewed energy as they turned for home to get the victory under jockey Ricardo Santana Jr. for trainer Chris Hartman and owner's Blackhawk Stable. Long shot four. Hi there, darling. Finished second in front of three. Smiling Charlie, who ended up third. Don't go anywhere. More great racing action continues from Oaklawn right after this. Want to bet? Even when you're not at the track? Now our Kansans can watch and wager online from anywhere. Introducing Oaklawn Anywhere. Visit the Oaklawn Anywhere booth to join and fund your account with cash at the window or by direct deposit. Get a $100 bonus for signing up. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com for details. Oaklawn Anywhere, now everywhere for Arkansas residents. Bathhouse Row, Oaklawn Racing, Lake Hamilton. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first big win, enjoying a meal underneath the stars, or just appreciating the view from hiking trails or botanical gardens. That's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. I firmly believe that any man's finest hour, the greatest fulfillment of all that he holds dear, is that moment when he has worked his heart out in a good cause and lies exhausted on the field of battle, victorious. At West Rock Coffee, we celebrate the determination and spirit of the people of Rwanda who help us make the finest coffee in the world. Silk's Bar & Grill inside Oaklawn Gaming is Hot Springs' newest destination for great food, drink, and entertainment. Open for lunch and dinner plus a late night bar menu, Silk's was voted Arkansas Times Best New Bar in Arkansas. Silks features free live music every Friday and Saturday night, and with more than 30 big screen TVs, it's the perfect place to catch your favorite game. Be sure to try the incredible Silks Margarita, made with Patron, and experience our signature Silks Burger. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. Today's fourth race is at six furlong. Scratch the three, Cape Magic, a field of nine. Race time favorite number six, say it right, Cat. They're at the post. And they're off. The favorite, Say It Right Cat, bounces away very well. Quickly up on the outside, Demi 10 to show speed. Down to the inside, Rod Song comes away in the top flight. She'll now land second. Then to the rail goes, she's a hopper from fourth outside, Jessica Lee T. Punching between horses, she's pretty cute. Stretch of another three and a half lengths to a rose given. Ocampo gets after Southern Prospect. She's second last while wide, and trailing the field is more than crazy. They go to the half mile pole after a quarter and 22 flat. It's a quick pace, and Demi 10 sets the tone. Leads it now by almost a length. Rod song second say it right cat has had a perfect trip she starts to tighten in from third she's a hopper is back in fourth and it's a length back to the outside goes she's pretty cute from fifth jessica lee t is next with more than crazy up the inside lane she's better than seven lengths off the pace and three better than southern prospect the trailer is a rose given and they run to the top of the stretch there's a quarter of a mile left to go they went 46 flat for the opening half mile demi 10 turns with the lead say it right cat wanders but starts to gain ground second with more than crazy third there's an eighth of a mile to go Who 
Julio Felix trying to get one more furlong out of Demi 10. She responds with a three length lead. More than crazy, the danger on the outside for Conchari. More than crazy, rolling up alongside. And more than crazy, going away. Demi 10 second, third, said right cat, and she's a hopper. Finished fourth and won 12 and two. Number one, more than crazy, delivers for the new connections and posts the upset in race number four under jockey Alex Conchari. Owned by Endzone Athletics and trained by Carl Broberg, more than crazy, earns an Arkansas bred bonus as she was an Arkansas bred getting the victory. So was the second place horse, number nine, Demi 10, over six, say it right, Cat, who finished third. Today's fifth race is at a mile and a 16th. These are made in claimers of the $10,000 variety. Scratch number eight, Live Like Jay, a field of 10. Race time favorites included three, You Nivow Me, and seven, Our Lady of Knock. At the post. And they're off. Hopping slightly at the start was Burnt Orange Genie. Good start for her down to the inside sensation with you, Valmy, moving up alongside. Everybody's trying for the lead. Up on the outside goes Butter Cookie with Blame Us, widest of all. Ocampo reigns CJ's flare back to run off the early skirmish to race in fifth now. Then wide on the course goes Blame Us, saving ground down to the inside with Soul Sister Diva. Then it's a stretch of another three lengths back to the trailer, Burnt Orange Dini. They run around the opening turn, pace a plenty. Butter Cookie takes it to the leader, and you, Valmy. Sensation races in third now. Religious is fourth. Got over nicely from the outside gate, did Religious, a length better than CJ's Flair. Then on her outside goes Blame Us, a length better than Sweet Dreams Tonight. Wide running on the outside, Our Lady of Knock. It's a stretch of another four lengths to Soul Sister Diva. And trailing the field here is Burnt Orange Dini. 23-1 and one for a very hot opening quarter. They backed it down in the second quarter as they went a half mile and 48-1. and one. You vow me a half mile from the money and two on top. Butter Cookie second, Religious third. Sensation is now fourth to the outside. Blame Us moves up fifth while wide. CJ's Flair has absolutely no place to go. Hemmed in by the outside running to Soul Sister Diva as they run around the far turn. It's You vow me trying to make a break for it. Blame Us second, Butter Cookie third. Working closer from the back is Sweet Dreams tonight. CJ's Flair has a little room now, starts to progress toward the inside from the back and Soul Sister Diva. They went three quarters and one fourteen and two and they're at the top of the stretch. You vow me straightens for the drive widening on a five length lead. Soul Sister Diva with a rally on the outside of Butter Cookie then CJ's Flair but this one's over. You vow me and Floyd Wethy Jr. widen the advantage in deep stretch. It will be you vow me three to one wrapped up and home safe. You vow me easily. Very close for second. CJ's Flair gets second over Soul Sister Diva then Sweet Dreams tonight 148 and one. The betting was competitive, the race looked competitive on paper, but on the racetrack it was all about You Vow Me, who delivers big on tra for trainer Scotty McNair and owners the Farm on Four and Golden Sky Racing. Floyd Rethy Jr. was on board for the winning ride. Number five, CJ's Flair was second in front of four, Soul Sister Diva, who finished third. Don't go anywhere, more great racing action continues from Oaklawn right after this. Racing in Oaklawn! Nothing has the sensational appeal of a free boat and truck. Sensational appeal trying to get after the leader. Here's sensational appeal. So get to Oaklawn Saturday, April 2nd for our boat and truck giveaway. You could win a brand new Ram Tradesman truck and a Tahoe boat and trailer. Sensational appeal is hanging on. And enjoy the best in thoroughbred racing from the infield at the home of champions, Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. The beat goes on. Oh, here's the line. Trace Creek proves best. Over $6 million in earnings for registered Arkansas breads. The pack and penny rocks. Rock City Roadhog, we beat Storm Man, photo finish. Five $100,000 stakes at Oaklawn. Weast Hill making short work of the competition. $5,000 bonus if you're an Arkansas brand and you win an open company at Oaklawn in 2016. See my Caroline holds on narrowly. From starting gate to finish line, the excitement on the track is only part of the legendary Oaklawn racing experience. Outstanding food and beverages to please everyone's taste is an essential part of the fun too. Pony Express is a must if you're hungry for one of our famous corned beef sandwiches. You'll also find an array of concession favorites like hamburgers, fries, and even grilled Reuben sandwiches. If you want to grab a quick hot dog between races, try the Daily Double Deli. 
Choose from a delicious Chicago dog, New York dog, or Oakland dog. The deli's got fresh pizza by the slice as well. The 16th Pole Beer Garden, located at the north end of the first floor, features more craft beer varieties than any other place in Hot Springs. Enjoy your favorite local craft beers and brews from across the region. You'll find top shelf specialty cocktails on the menu too. The Oyster Bar, also on the first floor, serves up a popular selection of seafood favorites, including freshly shucked oysters on the half shell and tender jumbo shrimp. There are no reservations required for a seat at the Arkansas Sports Tavern, but you'll want to claim your spot early because it's always a popular place to relax between races. You'll find the Sports Tavern on the second floor. Also on the second floor is the Side Bet Bar, where you can build your own Bloody Mary and satisfy your appetite with fresh shrimp and oyster shooters. With 22 concession stands and seven full service bars throughout the facility, you're sure to finish strong. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. Cedar Run Farm on 60 acres and 17 miles from Oaklawn Park offers a 10 stall barn, grassy paddocks, day pens, and a partially covered six craft walker for exercising and rehab. Moonshine Mullen is a first year registered Arkansas stallion with earnings of over $1 million. Moonshine Mullen did it! And a huge upset on the Stephen Foster. Black type winner in the U.S. and Canada with wins over the dirt, turf, and synthetic now standing at Lake Hamilton Equine and registered on True Nicks. Hi, I'm Terry Wallace, and here is tomorrow's Sentinel Record Pick of the Day. Race 6 on the program brings out claimers at one mile. They're in for a price of $6,250. Scratch the 5, Quiet Man. Scratch the 6, Magic Bay. A field of 10 went postward. The race time favorite was number 8, Starstruck Steve. And they're up. From the center, Starstruck Steve is heading off to the early lead toward the rail. Lake Creek comes away with speed. From the top shelf, Posture is trying to drop over alongside Bernie the Jet in the run to the first turn. It will be Starstruck Steve and Ramon Vasquez to call the shots. They lead by a length, but Posture is moving closer while second. Bernie the Jet is now third. It's a stretch of two and a half to Jack's the one. He sets up shop from fourth, five away of the leader. Then it's a stretch of two to All Star with Lake Creek along the inside. It's another two lengths to the team of Otto Shooty with one voice on his outside, a stretch of another five lengths back to perfectly at home, and two costly bullets a long way last as they run down the backstretch. Opening quarter was aggressive, 23 and one. No pace pressure, a lot of pace pressure rather, no rest for the weary for Starstruck Steve. He leads it by a length while continuing to be pushed along by posture and Bernie the Jet. Jacks the ones had a good run of it. He's fourth, five lengths off the lead, two and a half better than Lake Creek, followed by All Star. He's not yet asked for much. He's about seven or eight off the lead. He's a length in front of one voice with auto shooty and it's a gap back four or five took perfectly at home and still trailing his two costly bullets 47 seconds for the opening half mile first finish line in use and starstruck steve tries to get away from posture tightening in from third is jacks the one stretch of four to all star with less than a quarter of a mile to go vasquez goes to work on starstruck steve but posture is not going away posture up alongside as they turn for home starstruck steve battles on jacks the one is next all star and from the outside here's perfectly at home perfectly at home trying to track down jacks the one who hit the front jacks the one perfectly at home a final surge here's the wire jacks the one won it jacks the one is the one he won it narrowly from perfectly at home second close third starstruck steve might have hung on starstruck steve just had to do too much too soon and it set it up for number seven jacks the one who gets the good trip for victory under jockey alex berzer for trainer david vance and owners hot toddy racing Long shot perfectly at home, rallied well to get second. In front of eight, starstruck Steve third. Twelve, posture completes the super. Today's seventh race to be run at six furlongs, made in claimers of the three-year-old variety, in for a price of $50,000. It's a full field of 12, 
The race time favorites included four double dare and six beat goes on. And they're off. Poor beginning at the back for since forever. It was a quick beginning outside for Detroit Cowboy, who wants part of the yearly lead. TJ's Papa is showing speed. Down to the inside, first adapter and red, blue, and true move up. And behind the embattled pace setters is Double Dare. Also wrangled back is Max's Cayman Cat with Rika racing about four lengths behind. Two in front of the favorite, Beat Goes On. Then to the inside, Since Forever, and five to the trailer. The trailer is power-driven. They pass the half mile and move to the far turn. And on the inside, red, blue, and true by an Eck. First adapter alongside TJ's Papa and Cozy for short. Make it four across the track. Wide on the course is Clever now. We'll have to gain ground from there. Double Dare's getting a perfect trip under Lindaros. Just needs some place to go. Only two lengths off the embattled pace setters. Trying to run on from the back is the favorite. The beat goes on. Also coming on is the first timer since forever. They run to the top of the stretch. They went 46 and two for the half mile. Double Dare still all covered up. Landero slowly working to the outside. Trying Trying to get to the leader, Cozy for short. Cozy for short, driving to the lead now. Double Dare into the clear and coming on and up the inside, red, blue, and true. From far back, Power Driven is coming from last. It's Double Dare who has one to fight off. Power Driven on the outside, takes a late run at him. Double Dare has the lead. It's Double Dare in front. Power Driven second, Cozy for short, third, close fourth. Rika might have got up. Number four, Double Dare gets a picture-perfect trip under jockey Chris Landeros and holds on to win it for trainer Brad Cox and owners Richard and Bertram Klein. Running on well from far back, number eight, Power Driven, gets up for second. Don't go anywhere. More great racing action continues from Oaklawn right after this. Welcome to the atrium at Serenity Point, where your very own lakefront property awaits you. We have gourmet chef-prepared meals, stunning waterfront views, private apartments, and an active lifestyle where our residents enjoy social hour, daily exercise classes, an indoor saltwater pool and spa, summer boating, movies in our theater, and many more exciting activities. We offer luxury senior living options with independent living, assisted living, and memory care. Call today to start living your retirement dream. If you like racing and you like gaming, we've got a place in the winner's circle for you. Oaklawn's Winner's Circle Player Rewards Club earns you points toward free play, prizes, and food discounts. And a $10 free play coupon with your membership. Sign up at the Winner's Circle desk in the bigger and better Oaklawn Gaming. And while you're there, check out all the new games like live and video blackjack, poker, and a high limits area. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. Bathhouse Row, Oaklawn Racing, Lake Hamilton. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first big win, enjoying a meal underneath the stars, or just appreciating the view from hiking trails or botanical gardens. That's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. Want to bet? Even when you're not at the track? Now our Kansans can watch and wager online from anywhere. Introducing Oaklawn Anywhere. Visit the Oaklawn Anywhere booth to join and fund your account with cash at the window or by direct deposit. Get a $100 bonus for signing up. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com for details. Oaklawn Anywhere, now everywhere for Arkansas residents. The eighth and co-feature race, a three-year-old allowance race at six furlongs. Scratch the two, Meatsy flies. Scratch the five, Tisdale. Race time favorite on the strength of a strong debut run, number eight, Catterforce. And they're off. Hopping in the air at the start was Uno Mas Modelo. The favorite counterforce breaks right on the money and tries to establish the lead from the, from the rail. Here's first thought to take over. First thought will land in front. That's all right with Santana Jr. on counterforce. He'll set up shop second. A length in front of True Rogers now racing in third. Sort of David is fourth. Then to the outside goes Giant Trick, and the two trailers are Major League, and I'm a bling. And after a disastrous start, the trailer a long way is Uno Mas Modelo. 
22 and one for the opening quarter speed and they swing into the far turn. First thought leads it a half a length counter for us. It's still patiently handled well second. Drew Rogers asked to quicken third, dry and trick fourth. Sort of David picks it up from fifth. Why does I'm a bling and major league starts to tighten in as they run to the top of the stretch. First thought engaged now by counter force who ratchets up the pressure and counter force straightens for the drive on top on the outside and taking over. Major league is up the inside lane through the final furlong. Here's major league to take a crack at counter force. Major League with a serious challenge to Counterforce. Major League's up the inside for the lead now. Counterforce tries to battle with him. Counterforce is battling with him. Major League, Counterforce right back at him in a big time battle. That's a photo finish. Major League and Counterforce put on a show and 110 flat. Heck of a horse race in the Friday feature from Oaklawn and number three, Major League comes away with the win in a very close photo. Owned by Gary and Mary West and trained by Wayne Catalano, Channing Hill was on board for the winning ride. Take nothing away from Counterforce. He ran his heart out while second in front of the early pace setter, First Thought, who finished third. And after blowing the break and was far back early, the nine, Uno Mas Modelo, completes your superfecta. Ninth and final race at six furlongs, three-year-olds and up. These are Phillies and a scratch of three, Avalanche Girl, and a scratch of ten, Fleet Gray. Race time favorite from the barn of Steve Asmussen, number six, Jest wicked and runners away toward the inside lady paisley gets the first call and will quickly clear the field by length and a quarter from the outside perms danawan can't be dazzled come away in the top flight punching up the inside is durango and my master plan is not far behind and the run down the backstretch from behind the speed goes Black Sherry off the pace and situated about three lengths off the lead. Stretch of another two and a half lengths back to that's exciting. The gray, just wicked, is second last with Lane Kowaleski at the back of the pack. They run into the far turn. They went 22 and one for the opening quarter speed. Lady Paisley to lease it by a length and a quarter. My master plan second. Durango pocketed up third. Perms Danawa fourth. That's exciting fifth. On hold from sixth. This can't be dazzled. She'll need a way through. Three better than Black Sherry. Now the favorite Jess Wicked starts to find her feet, but she's still a long way from the lead with a quarter of a mile to go. They went a half mile and 46 and one. Lady Paisley shaken up by Alex Kincharian trying to spring the upset. Durango up the inside lane with every opportunity from third. It's my master plan. Final furlong. Durango's going to shift to the outside to make a final bid at Lady Paisley, who has the lead. Lady Paisley's still there. Durango's gaining now. Does she have enough time? Here's Durango on the outside. It's a photo finish. That'll come down to a bob of the nose. Is inside Lady Paisley, outside Durango, and 110 and 3. Number four, Durango looked like she was going nowhere fast inside the final furlong, but she tips to the outside for renewed energy and gets up to win it under veteran rangeman Corey Nakatani for owner Tom Durant and trainer Randy Morris. Second, big long shot two, Lady Paisley from five, my master plan who finished third, and the favorite, Just Wicked, could only muster fourth. Well, that wraps up the card on the Friday afternoon program from Oaklawn Park, but join us again tomorrow and join us early. That's right. Dot at Oakland starts at 730. I will be joined by multiple graded stakes trainer Kenny McPeak during the break as he will discuss his international bloodstock action. Get a behind-the-scenes tour with Dawn at Oaklawn here tomorrow with us. It's absolutely free, and it's sponsored by our friends at West Rock Coffee. We thank you for joining us here this evening. We hope you enjoyed your afternoon with us. Good night from Oaklawn Park.